If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tableman? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailman. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to be taking a look today at the CDI V-Star. This approach to the deck, uh, we'll see how it works out. Not completely sure about it, but um, hopefully it does. The CDI V-Star has the Somersault Feathers attack, which does 160 plus. You may discard up to three energy cards from your hand and this attack does 30 more damage for each card you discarded in this way. <clears throat> Pretty good um, attack, I would say. And the ability Star Fortune, during your turn you may draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. You can't use more than one V-Star power in a game. So with Somersault Feathers, you can deal up to 250 damage with the choice build. That is 280 damage, which coincidentally is enough to one KO pretty much <clears throat> every other V-Star. We have Tool Scrapper to remove potential big charms. We have a copy of Moltres and a few Dark Energies to try and deal with Mew VMAX along with the Clara. So since we're not playing Research, we can definitely try to conserve the Moltres as much as we can to potentially use it twice against Mew and win that way. That would be the ideal. Um, we have Greninja to help us in uh, the consistency of the deck. We have Oranguru with the Primate Wisdom ability so that we can put up Fighting Energy at the top of our deck and then we can use Godsey Pickaxe where we reveal the top card of the deck. If that card is a Fighting Energy, we attach it to one of our benched Pokemon and if it is not a Fighting Energy, we put it into our hand. So pretty nice card overall. We also have right hand to, ex uh, to power up. We have Training Court to um, continue to retrieve basic energy so that we can discard them for the Cedroid's attack. And then we have Big Barrel Force to port as well, along with Marnie and Boss. So let's jump into the ladder, see what we can do with this deck. Alrighty, so we're up against Team Omnipoke. <coughs> Pretty cool to see. We're going to attack Mountain Hunt, so we'll see if that ends up working out in our favor if we're not super threatened and what more pico v so <clears throat> i i have no clue <laughs> i truly have no clue whatsoever okay so no basic pokemon enterprises that they would want right that doesn't mean there aren't any basic pokemon prize it just means they didn't um they didn't find one they wanted and so the lower ball gets discarded we see a Reap. <clears throat> I have no idea <clears throat> what's happening here. Okay, so more Pico with Diancy protection. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and quick pull here, <clears throat> and I will grab what I don't think I'm threatened this upcoming turn. So I think I'm gonna establish the Bidu right here and if I don't get more neat this is looking like really good I have the double turbo so I'm gonna go ahead and mountain hunt for B actually you know what well if they retreat yeah, I don't think I'm grabbing a boss I'm just gonna grab these two that feels really good like consistency wise right I get both of my Evolutions, <clears throat> I have the double turbo ready. I have an air balloon as a counter to boss. And I have an energy to discard in case I need to. Um, all right, so there's the air balloon. There's the boss, <laughs> all right. So <clears throat> looking pretty good. I cannot boss because Princess Curtain prevents um, Whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card down to your benched basic Pokemon. So definitely not gonna go ahead and Marnie right here. 
Uh, base hard run 40 damage. I will be getting a knockout, so I'll go ahead and Ultra Wolf for another Decidui friend right here. And then we will Industrious in Scissors for 5. I don't feel like... Hmm, should I start Fortune now? I feel like I don't need to yet. <clears throat> I definitely feel like I can wait until I actually like really want to um, like really really draw. And then yeah, just somersault feathers. I have no energy, so I can't discard even if I wanted to. I have the boss to chase down the Morpico if I need to. <coughs> What can my opponent top deck that would be scary? Not a lot, I don't think. Spike draw 20, draw two cards, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's a quick ball for Crobat. Yeah, okay. So they will get going, which is nice. <coughs> I do have blocks to chase down any more Pico that I need. Control. Another Diancy gone. And Flappy is their sacrificial Pokemon. So they have. Oh, okay, they have the Bird Keeper, alright. <clears throat> Very nice. And they find another Diancy of the Bird Keeper, yikes. Now that's bad. Now I am in trouble. Now I am most definitely in trouble. <clears throat> Jeez. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so technically I can KO the Flaffy instead of the Dianti. I feel like that's worth it. Definitely feel like that's worth it right here. And so I am going to go ahead and... So I'm going to save the Moltres, because that might be good um, price-wise. And... I'll switch. Oh, quick ball and fail it. Well, I could just grab the Grim Ninja actually. <coughs> okay, so now do I go for my ability? I think I will. Nah. I'll just go Industrious and Scissors for now. I don't know when to time that ability. Okay. Um, hmm. Do that. Okay. That's not a card we needed. I'm gonna attach here. Um, you know what? I'll go concealed cards. Because clearly I don't need to attach basic energy each time. And then we'll go Somersault Feathers. No need to discard. I do a lot already. 280, in fact. There's another right hand. <clears throat> so this hopefully slows them down a bit in their power up of future more picos. Because if they switch they need to discard energy, so it's not easy for them to keep up. They do find the Marit though, huh? Oh okay. <clears throat> Tons of bird keepers in this deck. So, I mean, we trade two for two, which is all right-ish. I feel like Marnie's gonna be stronger here after I knock out the Diancy, because they will have a lot of cards in their hand instead of, as opposed to right hand. <clears throat> as opposed to the right hand. And because I can easily recover off of a Marnie with both Industrious and Scissors and my attack. Alright, so we'll 
do this, we will discard the Crobat. Grab another V Star. Alright, and then we will Marty. <clears throat> see what we get. No need to put the right hand at the top. Take away my opponent's humongous hand. Um, I do get another pickaxe, which now I can use. Thanks to the fact that I have this friend. Get another pickaxe, interesting. <laughs> right, attach it there. Then I will... I am done my switch, so this is my last switch in guard in case something weird happens, so I'm gonna conserve that. Just draw one, get the tool scrapper, which is pretty good. I reckon I can get rid of the darkness energy, it's fine. I haven't found any stadium yet, which is pretty odd. Let's go ahead and evolve, and just take the KO right here. And I'm holding boss as well, which is good. So slowly but surely, we are hopefully getting there. I feel like Altaria would be a strong Pokemon to have as well. So quick pull for more Pico. Bench the Diancian research. So Marnie did absolutely nothing. Looking for energy or Flaffy. Actually, it has to be energy, which I assume they play at least seven, probably eight, maybe nine. Four speed, three basic or four basic, perhaps. All right, there's the Flaffy. <coughs> No energy means GG. All right, so we are off to um, a decent start. So the issue with Gotsy Pickaxe is it only attaches to benched Pokemon. And like I'm nowhere near guaranteed. So I'm gonna start with the Radiant Greninja. <clears throat> you know that might require um, extra. Extra retreating resources. Wow, that's three pickaxes back to back. So will I be able to find an energy in the top three cards of my deck? Has to be a fighting energy too. Nope. <laughs> Not quite. <clears throat> so now I go for Crobat. Not a big fan of discarding the beep. The other beep is priced, and I also priced a fighting and a double turbo. So not ideal situations right here, but it is what it is. I would really, dude, I just wanted an energy. <laughs> well, that's really bad. How do you whiff this badly though? All right. Nothing I can do. <clears throat> Energy attachments. Would have been so huge there. Maybe I should have, because the odds were so against me, I probably shouldn't have played the pickaxes. I mean, obviously it's a little late, <laughs> but I probably shouldn't have. It's real than Melanie, interesting. And no energy. Alright, next card plus the energy. So I really don't want to Marnie my opponent's presumably not so good hand. Energyless hand too. Though the Liverpool does mean they have something, I reckon. Concealed cards first. 
<clears throat> okay. I mean, I generally could just use my ability, right? Instead of Marty, that probably feels better. I just want to fill up my bench. I'm not happy about this, but it is what it is. Oh, it's draw on. Oh my gosh. I, okay. I thought it was. Um, <laughs> geez. I actually thought it was. Um, geez. That's really bad. I generally thought it was discard your hand, draw until you have eight. <laughs> discard your hand, draw up to eight. Clearly, that was not how it worked. Um, okay, so not great odds for me right here. Only right hand as well to get out of this. My B-Roll is gone. Not a good situation to be in. And I've filled up my bench as well. Oof, escape rope. <clears throat> I think the oh, Crobat always dies here. I'd rather lose Crobat than the Radiant Greninja at this point. There's a small universe where I can maybe get the KO, but I completely wasted my ability for sure. Completely wasted it. <clears throat> Second melon. No V star yet, though. All right, there's a V star. So six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Yep, more than enough. In a <sighs> I hadn't missed the energy attachment, I don't know. Like, there is a universe where you can get return KO on this bulk, yeah. But it's not this one. It's definitely not this one. Moltres is gonna have to put in work here. So if I took a KO this Palkia and they took a KO me, they'll be down to two prize cards. So I need to give up on a single prize attacker at some point and then use Moltres again. That's the only way I'm winning this. And they haven't used their V-Star ability yet. So it's BKVO8, <laughs> big supporter of the channel, so shout out to you BKVO. Alright, here's the knockout. Should I have given up on the Radiant Greninja maybe? Maybe. Alright, concealed cards, see what I get. <clears throat> Alright, I got the double turbo, it's actually not horrible. However, the right hand is basically useless if I attach a darkness energy to the Decidueye, because then I'll need back-to-back -back right hands. I guess it's not useless, per se. I do that, and then I can just grab... Oh my, what? I priced my other Marty. <laughs> oh my god. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Um, because I priced the Vibral. So just another energy? I 
sure. Yeah, I completely wasted my ability. That's it. Uh, yeah, it should have been an energy. Oh my gosh. So I could continue to draw with this. Alright. It is what it is. I really messed up this game and my early game. Really killed me. Now they can go boss KO. I can also do that. <clears throat> boss KO, then KO the Crobat. And that's that. All gets really good. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 27. So I'm actually dead. So that choice build was silly. Yeah, that's it. Can't be popular with this. Not with that start. Alright. On the next game, we start Greninja. Mm, decent start, I guess. Not the best, not the worst. We'll see. Going second, though. That sucks. Well, we're up against Arceus, so... I mean, they should be playing Dunsparce. 70 HP Sobble. That is just bad. Well, I mean... There is Medicham, but that's still not great. Calyrex. Alright. That's really bad. That means no Dunsparce, though. Okay, that's a nice top deck. Just gonna discard that fighting. We will. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play the training court, honestly. Discard the other fighting. And grab the Decidue Eye. Let's try the pickaxe. No, but we do get a beep. Um. Can get back the fighting to attach that. I could Croat, but I don't think that's the way to go. All right, weird turn, weird hand. Not overly concerned about the Arceus. V Star, way more concerned about Ice Rider. I can never one hit KO it though. Yeah, the CDI V Star just feels like a really poor V Star. It just it needs so much to actually work. And no Intellion, like I don't know about you, but not playing Italian to me feels terrible. Like, I love Italian so, so much. So, so much. Alright. Am I actually going to lose my Grand Ninja here? There is a universe where they V star for a Water in the Discard, a Melanie. So they need Bucket, plus a way to discard, plus a Melanie to take a knockout on my Radiant Greninja this turn. That would be a little sad. And at the speed they're playing, they might have that. for the air balloon. So they do get the knockout but with the Arceus, which is just as bad, right? Just as bad because then my Decidueye is going down next turn. No matter what. <laughs> no, I guess they're missing the belt. And they can't attach belt, in fact. So maybe my Decidueye survives. I just always assume Alaric's knocks out, so the boss might actually make a difference. Alright. Raihan, okay, that's a very nice top deck. Alright, so I'll attach that. 
and we're going I'll just grab a dark attach that for turn and then I'll go star fortune draw five cards and then we get to do more things not a lot what <laughs> are you serious I don't think I could have drawn worse cards I don't think I could have drawn the worst cards than I just did. You're not a fighting. <sighs> that might actually be my saving grace. So I'm not gonna have to use the training cord because I already have energy, I already have this, and I am trying to use deep next turn. So I'm actually gonna discard the energy to do a little more. And if I survive the hit, then that's really good. If not, then I am definitely in trouble here. Okay, just max lands. All right. It's not ideal, right? But better than the alternative. Okay. So definitely evolve. Don't want to Marty, of course. So just industrious for one. Okay. Get rid of this. Grabbing the guru. So now if I actually find the pickaxes, I can actually put them to work. Okay, not quite. <laughs> um Yeah I'm at four prizes. I should just get the KO here. What would I get? A pickaxe top deck? No, a belt top deck. Does that ever matter? I don't think so. 280, there's no way for me to increase the damage. So do I go boss on this? Yeah, I actually think I go boss on this, dude. Back the two energies and just do it to 50. Wait, 160, 190. Oh, I only need to discard two of them. Yeah, so I did that because my opponent cannot attach a choice belt to that dude. So they they rely on quick shooting 100% to take the knockouts on my Vs no other way to do it and that's huge we also attack with crowbat too attacking with crowbat doesn't sound awful next turn no actually it does never mind all right i think i have my plan to win so i'm gonna go Quick pull away the darkness. Before. I should have kept the darkness. I should have kept the darkness, Pablo. I have one this here I left. Oh my god, I should have kept the darkness. I keep misplaying really badly. Okay. So let's get back a darkness. <laughs> Let's go attach Raihan, another fighting, and grabbing this friend. And then we will Ultra Wolf, grabbing the Bidoof. And then we will go Industrious and Scissors. Okay. Yeah, I really should not have this for the darkness. And 
I could end up getting more need. So I'm gonna attach this here. I will go ahead and... This is a difficult card to find, I feel. Two Scrapper do not want to remove that. And then we'll go Somersault, Feathers. Discard the Fighting. To do a little bit more extra damage. I don't have boss to chase, but if they're not using this um, Calyrex, they are not winning. And all I need to do is power up the Moltres. If I'd done maximum damage, I guess I could have just won with Crobat too. Um, but I need Ryan for Crobat. Yeah, I th okay, yeah. I should have just attacked with the C. I should have right hand into Crobat, grabbed the double turbo, and then did as much damage as I could to the Calyrex. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. I overcomplicated this way too much. I feel like I've been misplaying a lot with these new cards. <clears throat> a lot, a lot. They grab Marty. All right, so I saved the Moltres. That's good. The energy could be a little difficult to find, of course. <sighs> yep, difficult to find. Will they knock out though? That is a question. Oof. Might be dead here. Might be dead. They're not immediately grabbing the quick shooting, so that's good news. Oh, and they have a quick shooting with this card ball. That's also really good. Scoop up net, huh? Okay, that's not quick shooting. Don't kill me this turn, they do need to retreat. That gives me another turn. To pull this off. Path to the peak and Melanie. I do have the training court. Look, but like this is unnecessarily close. Purely out of the fact that this card is mediocre. <laughs> It's just way too energy intensive. Way, way, way too energy intensive. I really, yeah, I was gonna say, I really hope they retreat. Otherwise they're doing all of this just to attack me again. That would be really awkward. <laughs> all right, so quick pull away the double turbo. Fail it, and then we will go Industries and Scissors. Double fighting, <laughs> no boss. All right, so let's grab the other, Beeb. Uh, I don't have any boss's orders left, however. I do not have any other boss's orders left. So that's important to take into account. Did have a choice belt. Tool. And just somersault feathers for the knockouts. There's a V-Star. Should I have attached energy's turn? Probably. Alright, this is also not not a threat. Because 120 and they have nothing they can promote. 
to stop me from KOing them. So I really don't know what they're planning. Seems like they're trying to not lose rather than trying to win. I generally don't know what the plan is. Ooh, Collapse Stadium. I mean, at this point I'm at one price card, so <laughs> either I KO this or the Sobble, it really doesn't matter at all. It does stop me benching Moltres the next turn, but if the Insidio I goes down, then I do have the space, so it's not a big deal. And I have my other training court yet again. I want top deck, dark, have the training court to grab another dark bench, attach choice belt, ultra wall away, and hopefully find Clara or another energy off of the last remaining cards. There's the Ice Rider. So I'm guessing they're gonna go into that. So I do need two basic energies, which I am guaranteed with my top deck and the other training cords. But they tried, right? They, they actually tried. Props to them. It was so unlikely though, that I wouldn't have Potter, but they tried. Alrighty, so there's that, and there's that, and then two energies, that's enough for the KO. Perfect. Oh, and you only needed one. Alright, um, mediocre card, not very convinced about it, definitely would keep it in the binder. But we gave it a shot. Thanks so much for tuning in, hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.